All right. Well, I'm ready to go. Uh, time to do the last bits of this game. Quite literally, the last bits. Gammon away, go on. Good hunter. Your present I s farewell, good hunt. May you find Oh, it's been a long time coming, but finally, now that we are done with the chalice dungeons, we can finally move on to the last boss. Sis <laughs> of this game. I wonder what it is about, like, vast, empty landscapes with gigantic monolithic structures that Miyazaki really likes. Because, like, it's very... It's very similar to the, uh... Um... Uh, stone trees or whatever in, like... In Dark Souls. Only, it looks like it's just, like, pillars, right? It looks like... Like, there's stuff wrapped up there, but it looks like sticks. So, I can only assume that it could be a, um... I can only assume that it's just actually... I don't know. It looks like stilts. <laughs> or, like... You know, stuff that you find underneath the pier. Garmin awaits underneath the tree. <laughs> Look at this framing. So good. Gearman. Good hunter, you've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. Refuse. <laughs> dear, oh dear. What was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream? Top ten anime oh, betrayals. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, I should type.
Good soundtrack. But it's not over yet. Say hello to the thing that's been uh, pulling the strings the entire time. Again. Oh, did I uh, do that wrong? Okay, hold on a sec. Let me just double check something here. Yo, what up? Give me one second. Okay, <laughs> I beat I beat one of the final bosses, but I realized I, I uh, didn't get the ending I wanted, so I just reloaded my save. But, that's fine. At least now we have, like, one of the other endings up there. So basically the end there, after you beat Gehrman, um, the real perpetrator, or the, the puppet string of the, uh, or the real master behind everything, was the uh, moon presence that you see wrapping itself around you, and the idea is that you become 
uh, the next uh, host of this dream, of the hunter's dream. Much like Garamin is. Uh, Garamin isn't a bad guy, he's just unfortunately caught in a situation where he can't get out of it. Um, the moon presence is implied to be the thing that uh, holds everything here together and created the hunter's dream as a means of creating multiple, multiple, uh, 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 uh multiple, um, hunters and to keep hunters flowing so that it can take down the other great ones and essentially usurp power for itself. Garman, just before, in fact, we're going to see that cutscene again anyway, so. Garman, just before he uh, sacrifices, well, just before you fight him, he asks you, oh, like, do you want to sacrifice this, um, or do you want to fight, uh, do you want to, like, like, I can waken you from this dream. Right? Um, and you could be free from this nightmare, etc., et but he'll stay here. But if you refuse, you're essentially saying, like, okay, I'm going to fight you to take over your spot. But uh, there's there's more to it than that. Um, in fact, I might show that ending as well, since I can reload that save. So, not a big problem. Here we go. Good hunter. You've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. So, if we select Submit Your Life, and I'll do that because I could just reload um, through my PlayStation Plus cloud save. So if I Submit Your Life, Farewell, my keen hunter. Fear the blood. You, you, you just end the game here, essentially. Turns out he could always walk. This framing is so cool. So here, presumably, our hunter awakens in the physical realm, um, finally freed from the ever everlasting nightmare and everlasting dream. That Ralph Drang Laic. Yeah. <laughs> Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. But obviously that's not the end, so I'm gonna do close my game. Go back to my save data. Grab that from last night. Replace it.
So now we're going to go into the actual ending that I want to do. We just get to fight Garamin again, which is sick. Because he is a cool guy. So the next one, the next ending, um, essentially, you want to reject Garman's offer. Give you a, a general rundown of it. Worth's cap, why not? So, the, uh, the ending for this one, in order to get it, all you have to do is collect those three umbilical cords that I went out of my way to do so. Um, there's four in each run that you can get, but if you can get three, you're good. You're guaranteed at least one, though. Just keep in mind. Um, so, we have to use them. Using them gives us insight. Now that we're done with that, we can proceed. So, refuse. <laughs> then you get this menacing cutscene. Dear, oh dear. What was it? Which is the, the same hunt, as the first ending the I got. Or the horrible dream. It doesn't matter. Such a cool guy. It always comes down to the hunters help her to clean up after these sorts of messes. Tonight. Gammon joins the hunt. Ah! All right, here we go. So his fight's not too bad. It's it's just like a fancier hunter fight. In fact, uh, I actually got first try on him before you you stepped into the stream. So. It went way better than my first attempt. <laughs> you get the old hunter badge to get his weapon and his equipment. Here's the uh, real perpetrator. So that's this thing is called the Moon Presence. It's another great one. 
which created the hunter's dream it created this whole like everlasting nightmare um, and it assumes that because you killed Gearman, it's going to you're gonna take over as the next host but because we absorb the umbilical cords the endings different now we're becoming a great one ourselves and it realizes that or that's how I always interpreted it. So now it's like, oh shit, you gotta go. <laughs> Your competition. So now we fight the moon presence. I love its design. It's amazing. Look at that thing. So yeah, like because because you uh, rejected Garman's offer, it assumes that that you will become the next host and it will take control of you just like it did with Garman in a way. Although Garman had like he had full freedom to do what he needed to do, it's just that he could not leave the Hunter's Dream. He was tied to it because of the new presence. Boy, compared to all those other Chalice Dungeon bosses, that was, uh, that was pretty alright. First try, boys. So the ending here, that we get, is that we have become a great one ourselves. Like, that's supposed to be us. Oh, good hunter. <laughs> I think she's like eating, maybe? And that's the ending. So the implication there is that we became a great one to... Like, we, we basically did what Willem was looking to do, and that was to ascend, right? On top of that, by destroying, by killing the, the moon essence, the, the moon presence, and killing Garman, killing Garman, we've also ended the, the eternal nightmare and the hunter's dream. Um, but now we take its place as a great one. But we're like an infant great one, so it takes time for us to grow into something like the moon presence or something like Amygdala or cause. Um, yeah. It's a really weird ending, but I think it, it like, it fits thematically with the overall uh, game. But we did it. That was the end of Bloodborne. Yeah, I mean, that was only like 30 minutes or so, but I feel like I feel like that's fine. <laughs> I'll let this sick music play through. Yeah.
Yeah, I think after playing this, like, again, it still stands as my favorite of the uh, Soulsborne series. Like, it hits all the right notes for me in terms of, like, uh, art, um, the music, the gameplay. It's fast, it's visceral. And I really like the focus on, like, you know, just, just a certain number of weapons. Like, there's not a lot of, like, random shit, right? Um. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. I like it. I like it a lot. This, this is the game that I really hope that they make a uh, remake for or something, because this would be very welcome. Or even a sequel. I'll take a sequel. I think a full-fledged sequel would be very, very cool. I mean, there are definitely more places they, they could explore. They don't have to come back to Yarnum, obviously. And because it has to do with... All these great ones and like the cosmic universe and all that junk. They they have plenty of places they could go. But uh that's that's up to Sony and that's up to FromSoft. I mean, if they could finish Elden Ring, that would be nice. <laughs> I mean, like, this This is the, uh... It's supposed to be, like, Mergo's Lullaby or whatever, right? But, like, it's also played in Yarnum music boxes. It's the same music that, uh, what's-his-face? Um... Gascoigne has in his music box. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is still a very good game. Time to make this a yearly thing and uh, do do a whole new game plus playthrough for all of our characters. <laughs> uh, I'm joking. That would oh god hell yeah oh Jesus <laughs> that would kill me. Uh. <laughs> I mean I'll keep all my save data for sure. It's just uh, something to kind of keep in mind. Good. All signed and sealed. And then it just starts us back here. Back in, uh... The clinic. I just want to go back to the Hunter's Dream real quick. Learn to speedrun all the games. Woo! Woo! That's a challenge. That is a challenge and a half. Oh, since, since we're here in New Game, I, I guess I could go talk to Yosefka real quick, eh? I didn't do that before. Doesn't open from that side. Uh, well, I could do that another day. I feel invincible.
Oh, yeah. It's nothing quite like, uh... Beating a Souls game and then immediately going like, Wow! That was so hard! So challenging! I'm so glad that I finally managed to finish it. Let's do it all over again. <laughs> I feel like it's like the it's like the only franchise that makes you feel that way. The fact that you just start immediately right afterwards is kind of like yeah. Yeah, we keep going. This party don't stop, but unfortunately, it has to stop. So, I, I wanted to go back to uh, grab something real quick, sees. Yeah, we've already seen this. Um, so, because we killed Garmin, uh, we have access to some of his weapons now. Like, we have access to his burial blade, which is pretty great. So I'm gonna buy it. Um, uh, whirly gig. Uh, these are really good. The Evelyn, also pretty good. I'll buy it. We can uh, cosplay as Gearman. Didn't have any gloves, did he? Weird. But uh, unfortunately, we don't get his sick cape. Greatest blood gem combination. Uh, so this is this is the burial blade. I mean, you saw him use it a little bit, but like, you know, it starts off as like a small little weapon. It's got a decent attack speed, nothing crazy. But then you get scythe mode. go get uh, the Mercy Blades on my next playthrough, but that's fine. So, that was Bloodborne. We're moving on. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just got to the end. We're moving on to Sekiro now. Bloodborne is still my favorite. Boop! Give me one second here. <laughs> 